Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Raven here with some more Arma 3. This is the part of, or the fourth, third, fourth numbers. I can't math. The numbers, what do they mean? Um, this is another part to the uh, uh, a live tutorial um, where we're going over how to set up an Alive mission. Um, so in this one, we're going to be going over how to set up the TAOR, so the Tactical Areas of Responsibility, um, and the Blacklist Markers. So looking on the map, you have your mill objective over here, or your military placement over here, your civ right here, and then our base over here, right? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw a big box around our base. So we'll just say three kilometers by three kilometers right here just nine or nine square or however you, however you want to math um, this is going to be our base um, now we're going to draw another square around this area of uh, towns and whatnot and this is going to be the civilian spawn um, and if you're feeling froggy, well, you know, we could, you could do two, three, four, so on and so forth. It, it's your prerogative, however you want to set it up. Um, but for this example, we're only going to use one. And then if you add more, all you got to do is just change the uh, variable name. And then for mill objective, what we're going to do is we're just going to encompass all of it. And this area from this grid line to this grid line and then from this grid line to the south to this grid line up to the north up here this entire area is going to be where the op4 entities can spawn so what we're going to do we're going to start left to right so we'll come over here this is our base so we're just going to name this blue four and then hit enter and make sure when you're naming it you put it under the variable name and not under the text um, Next step, we're going to come over to the second marker, which is inside the big one. We're going to name this one Civ. I can't spell. And then we're going to press 1. Um, I name markers a blue 4 1, blue 4 2, blue 4 3, blue 4 4, so on and so forth. Um, and then Civ 1 through however many Civ objectives. Uh, and then Op 4 1 through however many Op 4 areas. Um, depends on how you want to set it up like we'll just say this main airfield is where we're based at and you want all of the northern half western half southern and eastern controlled you can have four op for objectives or areas of responsibility um surrounding this area and then the way blacklist works nothing will spawn in this box right here but it'll be able to be spawned in all around that box um, and then this last box right here, this big marker, we're going to name him Op4. And then hit OK. So what's going to happen next is we're going to come down to the civilian population first and validate everything in there is good. And we're going to go to civilian placement. And then under TAOR, we're going to place in Civ1 and then hit comma. That way, if you have multiple Civ objectives, like a Civ 2, for example, it designates that there's multiple um, civilian uh, areas for responsibilities. We don't want civilians spawning in the Blue 4 area, so we're going to place Blue 4 in the blacklist marker, and then we're just going to press OK. That's all set up for the Civ objective. So now we're going to go over to the military um, uh, placement modules. And then we're going to start, we'll just start from the bottom and we'll work our way around. Um, military close quarter battle. We're going to scroll down. We're going to validate all of this is good and how we want it. And then we're going to set up the TAOR for the close quarter battle under OP4 comma civ one and then comma that way um civilian buildings can be utilized both by military 
and in the actual civilian area, um, which is what this is uh, entailing. So the area of responsibility, there will be the ability for AI to be spawned in, uh, both in the civilian controlled area and the um, OP4 controlled area, because the civilian controlled area is a part of the OP4 area. And then blacklist, same concept as the civilian objective. We're going to type in blue four here, and then press comma, and then hit OK. Next is the Civ objective. If you don't feel like you know typing each time, you can literally copy and paste. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Control C, come over here for Civ objective. I'm going to hit Control V, and then I'm going to delete Op4. So, or you know, if you type it in, easy peasy lemon squeezy. But for this example, we'll have the TAOR for civilian objectives to be both OP4 and CIV1. Um, that way, uh, objectives can be spawned in both uh, areas of responsibility. And then blacklist, once again, blue 4. I can't spell. I can't type either. And then we're going to press comma there. And then we're just going to come down and validate everything is how we want it. And we're going to press OK. Uh, mill objective, same concept. We want the uh, um, AI to be able to be utilizing both areas, the Civ and the Op4 uh, area of responsibility to do whatever they need to do. So we're just going to place that in there. Um, you can limit it. So if you want mill objectives in just the main area and you don't want Civ objectives in that, all you have to do is just like remove that uh, specific marker name from the uh, TAOR list. Um, for blacklist, once again, blue four, and press enter. Um, military AI skill, just validate everything here is good. Military logistics, validate, and then press OK. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to press save. We're going to go over and we're going to place down a entity to be a player. Uh, so we'll just use RHS infantry and we'll just pick this first guy right here and we're going to set up a little fucking Zeus module for him um, Zeus not warlords game master boom name it GM owner game master GM and then all official add-ons including unofficial and then we're going to change his name to game master uh, this is the easiest way to test out what your uh, mission looks like. So we have all that placed. Um, if you set it up right, and if you followed these easy instructions, when you press play to look at it, once you initially spawn in, there shouldn't be anything around you <laughs> other than, you know, whatever you placed around you um, in the editor. Um, typically what I do is I build a mission file before I um, uh, before I place the alive modules down. That way I don't uh, you know spawn in when I'm trying to test like if things are like vehicles have, I don't know, um, a specific ammo count in it. Um, you know, it doesn't I don't spawn in. there's AI just sitting there like waxing the shit out of me. Uh, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna press Y. To go into Zeus or whatever your Zeus button is and just scroll out and then move your camera around in your area that you designated to not be spawning stuff. Um, so now that you can see entities spawning in over here because we have the spawn radius at 2500 meters, you can tell that, well, there's vehicles spawning in, which is what we want. That's what we designated, and there's infantry, and they're going on a little patrol. So I'm going to zoom out really quick. That way you can see this. So as entities are spawning in, uh, Alive sets up pathing for them. It sets up locations for them to, uh, you know, go on patrols, uh, their route, so on and so forth. Like this vehicle is driving down the street. There's a little convoy going on over here. AI can sometimes be autistic, and, you know, they'll crash into each other. Um, and if you have like too many entities spawning in at a given time, they'll probably like spawn inside of each other and blow up. But that's why you don't really touch the smooth spawn. Um, but 
cool we have entities spawning in over here and then our town of Peros was our civ objective so we'll just poof over here and then all of these guys should despawn as entities are spawning in over here um, and if if entities don't actually despawn don't really you know worry about it because it sometimes it takes time um, but boom look at that our civs are spawned in they're walking around doing their own thing um, and then you have AI spawning in in the in the city, you know. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna hit Y really quick and come out of that. We're gonna open up the map, make sure the markers aren't showing up on the map. We're gonna press space. This is how you can use admin actions, uh, like in game and whatnot, and to test your stuff. So for military close quarter battle, we're gonna click that, activate CQB debug, and then all of these entities that you see populating the map right here within that box that we designated are uh, CQB locations. The number is a priority. The little uh, dot that says regular, that means it's a regular uh, CQB location. Um, so you can tell in the city, obviously you have a lot more. So if you hit space again, module, military close quarter, deactivate they'll depopulate ignore this um, uh, virtual AI system go over there activate you can see where all the entities are and where they're spawned around the area of responsibility so if you remember the area of responsibility was something along these lines here boop boop Boop. All right, cool. So anywhere within this area of responsibility, the AI will be able to be spawned. Um, because we're close to that 2,500 meters, so we're right here, so 1,000, 2,500, entities can be able to be spawned in within a radius out to here, basically. So if you draw like a circle around your character, 2,500 meters, It's pretty much the bubble that entities can be spawned in, right? Um, which is why there's entities spawned in over here. Um, they're populated on the map, and as you can see, like this guy, he's driving right now. He's going down the road. Um, they show up as their um, designated uh, marker. So if, uh, for instance, these guys right up here, these guys are infantry. Um, let's find an armor. Ah. Uh, Ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> um, is that a nope? That's not. Um, boop, 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 boop. Mm, you get the gist, right? There's you know different the the different markers that you can find under the actual marker tab. You got infantry, uh, motorized, um, mechanized, um, recon. Um, if you had helicopter units, you could see those spawned in, so on and so forth. Uh, so the virtual AI system debug, you just turn it on and off by pressing space and going over there. And then civilian population, same concept. Um, see a rogue guy out here. <laughs> Is it suicide? A suicide guy over here that's probably going to commit Sudoku and try to blow you up. Um, you have random movements that shows all the functions of the civilians that will spawn in the designated area that you specified. Um, so we'll turn this off, clear the map up, and then we'll go over to admin options. You can toggle opcom installations. So these are the uh, operational uh, installations that are spawned around the map. So you have a bunch of civ ones, you have military objectives, you have a boatload of civ ones over here, you got a military, 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 so on and so forth, right? So uh, long story short, that's pretty much how you set up a live. Um, if you have any questions or comments, concerns, however you, know, you want to go about it, um, 
leave them below. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. If you guys want to see more of it, uh, or a more detailed, in-depth sort of tutorial, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment. Uh, if you do subscribe, make sure you hit that little bell icon. That way you get notified every time I upload. Um, and also, feel free to share this video. Uh, you know, the more people that like to use a live, the easier it is to do joint stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Cheers.